Well, hi there. Welcome back to part two of Penn's Hot Rod and Custom Rebuilding the One Horse Famous. Um, today we're going to make valves. Um, because the, these valves are, are shot, they're worn down, and basic, a hundred years old, so they're finished. So, um, I did a little bit of figuring out off camera um, to uh, recut my uh, valve sheet. Um, sorry, not valve sheet, valve guides. So, I could chuck it up in the, in, in the mill, dial it out, and drill it bigger, or mill it bigger, or ream it bigger. But this side was no problem. I could dial that one. This side here, was a little bit of a pain in my butt but I put on a face plate I like to get on the back side of it and then dial that in and then drill well I kind of figured I just went up a 16th of a side with um, whatever you want to call it I just call it like a, a tucking reamer and I was able to ream it out about I'm gonna say about 90 percent of it of the uh, the valve guides out, which I'm quite happy. I don't think camera's gonna pick up the new uh, the new cut in there, but I, it's gonna work for what I want. And if I'm off a little bit, no big deal, because we are going to regrind the sheet, so I can be off a little bit. Doesn't matter. All right, so we've done that part. Now the valve, the valve I'm gonna make. Since this is a smaller engine, it's never going to work that hard. I'm just going to make it out of 4140 steel. Here's a piece right here. I was using for something, but I can't remember, but it worked out perfect because it's the same diameter up here. And you've got to chew this down to, uh, I think it's 2154. I'm not too sure. We'll figure that one out. But, um, so I'll set that up in the lathe. And I already got one set up. We'll get it in, in a minute. And then uh, we'll cut it down. And one thing important, you never want to have a sharp edge. Because if you have a sharp edge here or something, heat tends to uh, build up there and crack. So it's always important to put a radius in your joint. Like sure, this is going to have a little bit more of a margarine here. It'll be thicker so it won't be as uh, thin. That's one thing, and we also we have some thread to worry about. Since this is going to be a little bit bigger, we'll have to bring this size down a little bit, so we can put the uh, the original hardware back on. Or I could just say screw it and make new hardware. But in this case, I'm only going one size bigger, so I'll make it all work. And this is just like a what I just quickly ground up. To get a, a quick profile so I can get a good radius in there uh, so that covers that and we'll go over to the ladies and start cutting a valve anyway you can see I've got my uh, 4140 ready to piece of steel that we'll use for uh, making a valve it's, I've got it all dialed up in a four jar chuck um, so now, well, I'm taking my measurement, a little bit bigger than 516, I went with a couple of fouls smaller than the size I reamed out in the uh, head, so that way the valve can move freely without uh, binding or seizing up. So now, we'll start, uh, for right now I'm just going to cut up to right here, because this is going to be my biggest diameter, I'm going to turn this down. To make my valve stem, which is a little bit bigger than 516, and go from there. I got my safety glasses on, and we'll start. I'll show you guys a little bit of action and cutting, but not the whole thing. But that's too long and boring. But we'll see what we can do here.
Okay, you can see I've got it roughed out. I got about another hundred thousand to go, and then it's done for uh, final size. So now I've got my uh, I'll use this uh, radius cutter. I'll use that to do my roughing, and then I'll find a little tighter radius. Uh, so that way we can put that uh, angle in. You don't want it square or anything, so we'll put that radius in and um, keep on going. Uh, I'm gonna slow this thing down. Okay, I turned down the stem of the lathe down to the final size. It's perfect from here to here, just like the um, other uh, valve. You can see how we're going to be. And I put a nice radius in here. I just got to come in and just uh, buff that up. And then all we have left to do is, of course, cut it into the right length and put some thread into here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to do this the lazy way or what. Because the lazy way is just uh, cut this off right here and then just stick it in a um, uh, valve grinding machine and just grind it in instead of, I don't know, instead of setting the compound and chewing it out. We'll see. But uh, we're getting there. That, I guess the next part is um, I'll find the right length of the... Uh, now we'll cut that off or uh, maybe I'll put the thread in and then cut it off and then um, I put the face on this on the, the new valve and buff that up too. All right I um, set my uh, compound at 45 degrees that's what I kind of figured out this way uh, the angle on this valve so we'll just copy that and then now I'll get my measurement how wide this is and just replicate everything onto my new valve and uh, I'll just sweep it back and forth like this till we're done to our size that we want how much of a face we want on the uh, valve and then that part like, I could take this to my brothers and put it on the valve grinder and grind it in. Uh, I'm just lazy. I don't feel like driving 20 miles and then 20 miles back home. So, I'll do it on the lace. No big deal. I've done it before. All right. I'll fire this up and we'll start cutting. Okay, we started there, so now I'm going to do is um, just take my measurement, it can be roughly, it doesn't have to be too critical. Okay, um, about 11, 11, no, whatever that is. Oh, we got another, yeah, about 50,000 to go. Now, fire it up and then 
it was just, I'll be doing the same thing I just did a minute ago. Um, and I'll put a real nice finish and then we'll have to lap these in by hand to get a very nice finish. But you'll see it. All right, I got uh, gathered up some tools. Um, I got a couple different tools here. Now we're going to regrind the uh, valve sheet here. Because after, over the years, the valves always pounding and they tend to wear um, not perfectly. So, you know, everything else wears. So we're going to regrind it and chew everything up again. And this is my uh, pilot. It's an expandable one because since I'm doing kind of oddball uh, sizes here because I'm making everything the custom to fit. So this one you tighten that end and then expand this end and it tightens up into your valve guide. It's like that. And then uh, when, when that's all tight, that'll center this truly to this hole. Uh, and then we'll have a stone come down the, the jig's right here I just don't feel like taking off it and stone it and it centers it and then turns around and it cuts it and redresses your, your valve sheet but before we do all that we need to redress your stone or put the correct angle on because every valve has different angles and I went with factory or whatever this one and this one was uh, 45 degrees so I set the tool up to 45 degrees. I don't know if you guys can read that, but it's right at 45. And then I will put my special drill on here, spin it about 10,000 RPM. This has a little diamond tip on here. And redresser stone. And then that way we got a perfectly new um, dress stone here. And then we can start to cut our uh, new, or redress our new valve sheet. All right, here's my uh, setup for um, dressing valve stones. Uh, I just put the special drill on here and then spin it and move this back and forth. I have it 45 degree angle. This has that diamond tip and it redresses to what I want 45 degrees. Um, don't worry about the mess. It'll be cleaned up one day. Just working on a secret project here. Anyway, I'll set this up. Have a nice new 45 degree uh, stone cut. So now we'll take it over to the um, head and we'll uh, grind a new face into the seat. Okay, I put it in the vise to cure it, so that way I've got a good way of holding the head. And I'll put the uh, pilot shaft in. And we'll tighten it up. Good secured and now that's our uh, new dress stone I'll put it down look pretty damn close so keep it up a little bit I know there should be a spring in here but this is the way I've always done it all right And you can see I've got a really good face there. I'm a little weak back here. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. But it's just uh, a little bit. So I got to cut it maybe one or two more times. And that should be a perfect face.
One more for good luck. Um, that's a beautiful valve seat now. 100%. So that's just... Um, I'll bring the valve here and uh, we'll just give it just a quick little lap and that the head should be done. Of course I got to do the same for the uh, uh, intake but uh, I'm not going to get into You guys don't need to see both being done so. Okay all I did was I just took a little bit of a, a black marker and it's almost touching 100%. You can see the line. I just got to do use some uh, valve lapping and um, lap that valve in, and then that valve will be done. I gotta tell you, it's not too technical with this old stuff. If this was like a, a car, I'd be getting into a whole different, <laughs> doing it different. So, but um, I think that'll be it for this video. And uh, I don't know what we'll do on the next one, but we'll. Figure out what we do next time. I'll see you guys.